Yo, man, so the next hot topic right now is going down with Megan Good and Michael Ealy and Jonathan Majors. Now, Megan Good has been going on a campaign run now, man, y'all. If y'all don't know, she had a new movie with Tyler Perio. I watched that movie, and we're going to review that movie in this video as well. So, but the situation with her and Michael Ealy is very interesting. So, there's a video that has been circulating that I will enter about Megan Good seeing Michael Ealy as some type of video premiere, movie premiere. I'm thinking that's her movie premiere for Divorce in the Black that she did on Amazon Prime right now. Check that out if y'all have not seen it. Yo, check that out. Um, She's giving it up on that video. In that video, you can see there's Megan Good, Michael Ealy, some other people, and Jonathan Majors. The first video we seen was Megan Good getting swept up off her feet by Michael Ealy. Now, y'all know Michael Ealy is the nappy-headed, pretty-eyed dude that all the girls loved, lust after, bro. I'm just gonna keep it a bean, bro. Most girls lust after this guy. So, when I seen Megan Good say, ah! Like, she was excited to see, bro. Like, she ain't seen him in ages. And the whole time, Jonathan Majors had to just sit there and he had to eat it. He looked very awkward in it. Now, maybe Megan Good felt like she was still in the movie, yo. If y'all have watched Divorce in the Black, y'all gonna understand what I'm talking about. But if you have not watched it, make sure y'all watch it so y'all can kind of feel the role that she just played. So, she might have been still in character. So, she see Michael Ealy. They got some type of relationship because they was in multiple movies with each other. When she see him, I just think she overdid the excitement that any boyfriend, which is Jonathan Majors, would want to see in that current moment. In that current moment, I don't want to see my girl fanned out. I don't want to see my girl hugged up with another man getting swung around and then in a 360 and then landed perfectly on her feet. That's just me. Call me insecure. Call me what y'all want. No man wants to see that, ladies. If you see a man that you had a connection with, you know what you do? Handshake it. All this hugging, we ain't with it. Maybe if you Hollywood, you do the double cheek kiss. Mwah, mwah. But the spin around was a little bit extra to let everybody know that, hey, bro, they had something going on. And Michael Ely, Michael Ely, you a foul dude for that, but I got to respect the boldness of it because at the end of the day, that's a bold move. There was another video that came out that it showed Michael Ely dapping up, dapping up Jonathan Majors before he did that. So he got the man out of the way before he kind of violated him, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. So in that scenario, I wanted to ask the men out there watching this video, what would y'all had done to Michael Ely in that current situation? Like, what is the proper thing to do? Do you be like, hey, 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 bro, you don't see me right here? Do you just let it happen like Jonathan Majors did and ignore it and act like you don't have it didn't happen? And then when you get home, do you have an argument with your girl? Or you just let it ride and you understand that you're secure in your relationship and that type of thing won't affect you. I'm not that big of a person. I could never do the last option. I'm going to keep it up being with y'all. So most likely I'm going to be like, oh, she playing with me right now. Like she trying me in that moment. I would think my girl was trying me. And that's what I think a lot of people thought. Megan Good probably had to deal with some type of argument. Y'all know, uh, what's the bro name? Jonathan Majors. Y'all know Jonathan Majors was, he was charged recently with some type of domestic violence with that white girl. They they saying, you know what I'm saying? He touched that white girl. He had marks on the neck. Jonathan Majors, leave them white girls alone. 